Monmouthshire. The Mainde estate and Spitty lands, all in the parish of Christchurch, and distant one and three miles from the advancing port of Newport. Particulars of an attractive freehold residential property situated in the parish of Christchurch, about one mile from the important and rapidly increasing port and town of Newport, comprising a commodious and exceedingly well-built modern family mansion known as the Maindee. Erected about 15 years ago upon the site of the ancient residence of a well-known county family, it occupies a sheltered position nearly surrounded by a small park in which grow stately elms and ornamental plantations of fir and other trees. The pleasure grounds and gardens are laid out with much taste and are approached through handsome entrance gates flanked by a neat stone built lodge. The carriage drive is adorned by lofty elm trees containing a rookery. The stable and coach house accommodation with cottage for coachmen is placed at a convenient distance. Somerton Farm and Spitty Lands, comprising a comfortable farmhouse with extensive and convenient homestead, labourer's cottage, rich arable and pasture lands, and orcharding. Lime kilns with railway sidings, connected with the Great Western Railway. Accommodation lasts, right for building and commercial purposes. Well, I came out of prison, started off and didn't like to barber in prison. I come out and uh, I sold my cart and opened up shape ups. I had 300 quid, I started off with office pub production in the kitchen worktop. You know, I sat there and watched videos after video on YouTube. I was practicing on customers as we was here, but now we're. Yeah, we got a tidy little point uh, down. And it's happy days. We get all walks of life. Yeah, we get all walks of life. We don't matter who we are, we're all done. Well, yeah, we've got older generations and days to get younger generations and then. It's unpredictable. That's my main chan, that is. Yeah, that's my main chan. Yeah, yeah, no, you've been coming here from day one. He's been, he's been, he's stood by me, loyal customer. You know, he's been here since. But I didn't have a clue what to do. One of, the, one of my boys here has got messed up on the wing. I picked up the clippers, uh, number four, three, two, and one. Started with the four, finished with the one, and everyone on the wing wanted an haircut after that. That's it. I've done my qualification, um, but yeah, I thought it was In the age of seven, my parents. That's the only way you can learn how to cut your budget. If you can give you tips and hints on how to do it, you have to do it. I memorized my Quran, the holy book, in the age of ten. So when I was just ten years old, so I memorized that book by heart. And at that time, I was not even able to write down anything till the age of roughly 10. So, but just Arabic, I used to, like, I was good in reading, and so I memorized it, but I was unable to write it because there was no practice to write it down. And uh, then my teacher, he was seeing me that I am a quite good quality of like a public speaking. So he I like music to the uh, me for the uh, I've been here since nursery so um, I really like it and um, I don't want to leave the school because I like all the teachers here and I have lots of friends. I I really like Randy too because I started in nursery and I really like all of the teachers and all how nice they are and especially my um, my favourite lesson is maths because I like working out methods and all because when I'm older like um if I need to go to the shops and like I can work out the money and all got science yeah English maths a little bit uh, PE and that's it I have two favorite clubs I have netball and I have dance club Hello, my name is Isa, and I live in 58 Central no, Avenue. Yeah, my dad told me this. I saw this so from the 17th Marshmallow. century. Imagine dragons. My dad lived in Istanbul, in near Turkey. I lived in to, um, Turkey, and then he moved to. And then he moved to I can't even remember who I listened to. 
a diamond and then from there he found a job in the UK and then he came to We have school holidays. Well, as soon as I was born, I was staying in my home country yeah. for a crazy party. 40 days and then because of civil war I had to go to the UK to um, Newcastle. I stayed there for six years. And then we moved to London and we stayed there for about a month. In the holidays, then we I go moved to, like, um, to, um, I go to Newport um, and now we've like, been here for five years. Um, uh, my my favourite thing um, about Maybe is that like, you have friends and it's educational. Um, uh, I play a bit of basketball sometimes. Um, uh, to do that. So um, down Kemp Park um, or Seashore Park or whatever it's called. Um, and well, the park is a bit of a class. But yeah, yeah. So we've got our friends. When the weather's a bit nicer, it's that. Who's in Newellen? Newellen. Yeah. So we want to see them. I've got an A in class. Yes, he does. That's part of it. The first underage drinking was done around here. You know, it was done in the Star Inn and the Odd Fellows. Um, and then as you got more confident, we ended up like drinking in the main deep. We never drank in the George, because basically the George was known as the Copper's Place. So you had to make sure you were 18 to go in there, because uh, they used to finish their shifts in uh, the police station at 10 o'clock. And um, it would be by 10 past 10, it would be full of people with sheep uh, skin jackets on with very well pressed black trousers and you realise within the first two minutes like you know that's not the local dance team you know, like you know that's uh, you know, that's that's the local CID yeah um, yeah you know I don't actually I think know the car that I'm born because obviously the car my dad was stationed in all the shots and the globe and the globe but he didn't want me to have he didn't want me to have anything to do with England so I sent my mum back I can run a rip here in the new boat so it's born here when I come back this is where so my dad's from the media my brother obviously lived in the media all his life and my uncles so yeah I've lived in Germany for five years then we used to come back like every uh, in the summer holidays. Um, so the, my best main memories are really aiding to my later years because um, I'm used to come back. A lot of my aunties were, you know, were even better, so that's where we stay sometimes and all over. But um, um, the amount of pubs and all that they used to be here, yeah, certainly are not that many anymore. A lot of them closed down. Yeah, this is like this has been here for a hell of a long time. Um, I'm more of a, um, I usually drink in the George. That's my main local. The jazz, I think. Again, that's another, another pub that's been around for a while. Um, George and uh, Cavendish. Mac Ali. And I live in Main Deep, Eaton Road. So the crane is, I think, my name is William Charles, and um, like I live in Cullion Road. I get to go to lots of clubs and to uh, spend time with friends. Um, being with friends and meeting my t teachers. I like decorating, painting and drawing. Uh, maths and PE. Um, I get to learn um, like equations so I can help myself in the future. 
One of my friends live by me and I always go down her house sometimes when I am um, like on Saturdays and Sundays and then we like play, we colour and like we play hide and seek. I like um, going to my room and either watching YouTube videos or um, drawing at. I watch um, lots of Minecraft videos, a game where like um, everything is blocks and you need to um, build to survive but there's another mode called creative mode where you like um, create um, anything you want because you have unlimited blocks. I play Frave, Fire Boy and Water Girl. Like if the Fire Boy goes in the water he's dead. If the um, Water Girl goes in the fire he's dead. My mum's from Pakistan, my dad's from here, my sister's from Pakistan as well, and then my little sister um, is from here, so I'm from here. My mum's from England and my dad's from Wales. Um, my two brothers, um, of my whole family except for my mum is from Wales. I have English friends, even though I'm Pakistani. And I have friends that are Bengali. I have a friend I think is um, part of Pakistan. Um, I have a friend who's from who's um, uh, part Indian. You and a cousin Eric, Gadamam Ahtad, Fair Hak, Dai Choir. I went to Mainly School, which was only a two minute walk away, and I went all through my primary school days, infant and junior school there. Um, I played in the streets, as we did in those days, um, around the area. Um, we also managed to get in the school uh, canteen grounds and play around the back of it because there was a little hole in the fence. Um, what I remember was that although it's been demolished now, the canteen has been demolished and I'm not sure what building it is now. Um, there was a Gari uh, car garage repair at the end of the road, which has now been replaced by houses. I was happy. Yes, it was a nice, quiet little road. I, I had my brother, and he was always out riding his bike along these roads. This is the 50s to the late 50s. 65, 66. I went to a, I had piano lessons, which was from one of the neighbours just across the road from me, my mum had managed to organise. She was a tyrant, she made touch your fingers when you played the wrong notes. I <laughs> remember that much. <laughs> I can't remember her name. And is led with Some other lands to Mr. David Number James. seven. Um, and I spent a lot of time in Mainzy Infant and Junior School. As being not far away, my mother would be out shopping and the teachers would see her and ask if I could go in and help them. So I spent part of my weekends and holidays in Mainzy School. <laughs> With two approaches from so it was quite road, emotional really when they knocked it down. I think it had been there uh, six years. people I found somewhere in Romania are probably a lot more friendly than different uh, other areas. Yesterday uh, I was coming back from Birmingham and I to see a client and uh, coming into uh, Mainly as I hit the, the light that was like this rush of uh, happiness is like, well, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm back. 
I'm home. This is where, where, where I am. Um, so it, it was like a, a major weight being pulled off. I know it's nice to go to a different city, not knowing anything and experiencing something new and then coming back home and it's like, whoa. It, it, it just has that different effect. Um, whereas probably, I would have said in the, my younger days, it was more about uh, going out with the lads, drinking and all of that, and just going from pub to pub to pub to pub, um, and that was it. And uh, now, I don't do that because I'm a lot older now. Um, <laughs> but the um, uh, the aura around Mainly is completely different to anywhere else. Is described as one of the healthiest and most pleasant situations in the 